Hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel, requested by Lainey Jane. Elaine, she wanted to see swatches of my mail mail from Sister Chick, Miss Debbie. So today we're going to get started on this, and I have listed this. Thank you for the request, Elaine. I wanted to make sure I didn't forget to thank her for asking me to do this video. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch these. This is that first one, and it's the Essie, and it's to buy or not to buy. And it's a very, very light, beautiful color. And it's got shimmer in it, and we're going to see if it translates to the nail. You know, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So I'm having to fuss with this little Essie brush because, you know, some brushes are like that. And here we go with the next one, and it was the um, orange jelly, and it's got all those little flakies in it. And I decided to, instead of trying to build it up on its own, I wanted to just do a coat of it over the red. I thought it would be the best way to do that one. And then here is the next one. And both of these are sinful colors. I am so sorry. I'm not paying attention. And this is Smoldering Cauldron from Sinful Colors. It's just a beautiful, flaky, yummy goodness. It looks beautiful over black, but I also think it would look great over other colors, other dark colors, and maybe even some light colors. So now we're going to head on into the Moon Metals that she sent me, and this is um, going to be done over black and white so that we can see what it looks like over both of them. And let's see what's going to happen first. This is that green gold one. And I will have the names. I will put them on the screen for you. I'm just kind of dabbing them around a little bit. And I love that it's got the glitters in it, but it's also got this real fine sheen going on that you can see really well over the black. It's just gorgeous. Let's see which one's next. Oh, it's the coppery orange one. It's so pretty. And it changes that black to almost a copper color, like a brown copper. It is just beautiful. And I know I say the word beautiful just entirely too much. It's a habit. But that's how I feel about polish. I really, really do love it. And then this last one is the pinky purple blue one. And I'm telling you, the sheen on that one over the black just screams some pinky purple. Oh, love it. So we are going to go back and do a second coat of all of these. To buy or not to buy. I just thought that was the cutest name. Oh, just adorable. And it does have a pretty good formula. I know Essie's can be hit or miss. It looks a little streaky here, but with a coat of top coat, I'm sure it would look just fine. I blame it on that skinny brush. There we go. Trying to smooth it out a little bit more. <laughs> ah, the struggle is real. <clears throat> and here I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat, even though I am layering it over color. Now, you could just do one coat over color, and it would be just fine, but... You know, I figure since I'm doing two on the other ones, I might as well do two on this one also. And here's the, um, what did I say? It was Smoky Cauldron. I'm losing my mind. Oof. If you find it, let me know. Like I said, I will get the bottles out and put them on the screen because, you know, I, I don't want to be, you know, misleading anybody in them. Walking up in their Walgreens saying, I want that crazy color, you know, with the spots in it that looks green and gold. <laughs> <clears throat> Works better when you know the name. But I loved, loved all of these Moon Metal polishes. I just thought they were just so cool. Just like the first three that I got, I really loved them. And these are just like those, but maybe knocked up just a little bit more because they got that shimmer running through it so heavy. I mean, they had shimmer in the other ones, but these are just really complimenting shimmers, I think. Maybe that's what I'm trying to get to. Love, love, love these. I just can't wait for October. 
Of course, you guys won't see this till after it's October, but that's okay. I'm going to have all of these broke out and using them for some of my Halloween designs. I really want to thank Miss Debbie for sending me these beautiful polishes. And I want to thank Elaine for asking me to do these swatches. I really do appreciate every one of you. So, let me know if you've gotten any of these, if you found them in your local stores, and if you've picked any of them up, and what you think about them. I would love to hear your thoughts on these. So that is all I have for today. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Bye!